This video covers the topic biodegradable polymers, in particularly synthesis properties and application of polylactic acid related to which you Belagavi syllabus. Uh, kindly watch my video, subscribe my channel, like and share it. Uh, the biodegradable polymers, what are biodegradable polymers? The biodegradable polymers are a special class of polymers that break down after its intended purpose by bacterial decomposition process to result in natural byproducts such as gases, water, biomass and inorganic cells. As we know, all polymers are break down. Every polymer is a degradable one, but not all polymers are biodegradables. They degrade in mass, strength and molecular weight with the time. But there are polymers, they are comes under the biodegradable polymers, they degrade quickly when compared to non-biodegradable polymer. And even their byproducts or their formed products are eco-friendly in nature. They are more easily into the soil or atmosphere. They break down after intended purpose by bacterial decomposition and the decomposition way is also using bacteria, bacterial decomposition that takes place and forming some eco-friendly byproducts like gases, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, water, biomass and even some inorganic salt and those polymers are considered as are biodegradable polymers and these polymers both found uh, naturally as well as synthetically made and largely consists of ester, amide and ether functional groups. Their properties and breakdown mechanism are determined by their exact structure. That exact the structure of that polymer tells about the mechanism of breakdown or the degradation. These polymers are often synthesized by condensation reaction, ring opening reactions, ring opening polymerization reaction or even by using metal catalyst. Usually they are synthesized uh, by ring opening polymerization, condensation polymerization or even metal catalyst. So there are many, by now, now they develop uh, many biodegradable polymers. Say uh, the among the one biodegradable polymer is a biolactic acid, Poly, uh, sorry, polylactic acid. This polylactic acid is a biodegradable, bioactive, thermoplastic, aliphatic polyester polymers. That means in the polymer, the aliphatic polyester groups are present, derived from renewable sources such as cornstarch, sugarcane, etc. Then how we synthesize this polylactic acid? Usually the polylactic acid is synthesized using two main monomers. The one is lactic acid, another one is cyclic diester, called it as lactide. Okay. To synthesize a polylactic acid, we need lactic acid or a cyclic diesters of lactide. We will take a corn or sugar cane. So, which on fermentation, which on fermentation, so we will get a lactic acid. We will get lactic acid. The lactic acid is like this OH and here CH3. When two lactic acids combine, there is a removal of water molecules and forming lactide. The formation of lactide is also. And these groups are CH3. Okay. So this is a cyclic compound called lactide. And this one is lactic acid. These are the monomers used to synthesize uh, polylactic acid. From lactic acid, by the polycondensation reaction, by polycondensation reaction, we may get condensation 
reaction at around uh, maximum of about 200 degree celsius or up to 250 degree celsius and reflexing of for about 6 to 8 hours there is a removal of water resulting in the formation of PLA polylactic acid or by the ring opening reaction what we call it as ring opening polymerization we will get polylactic acid by the ring opening polymerization we will get polylactic acid. I will write the base groups. Okay. Here acid group H CH3 double bond O. Okay. Then oxygen. Again C C. Then oxygen. C C. Then oxygen. So O. Here this group bears CH3. And this one ketone group and this group again it is CH3 and this group oxygen ketone group OH3. Okay. The repeating units here we observed is CH C CH3 COO ester group N times called it as polylactic acid. It is easy to remember the structures like C C O C C C, C, this is a base structure, okay. Here, before the O, the bearing the C group, should contain double bond. That is a ester group, C, O, O, ester group. And here also ester group. And here also ester group. The remaining carbon that bearing CH3 group, CH3 here, and this also becomes CH3. And the one uh, side, it contains one valency satisfied CH3 group, another one by OH. Here it becomes OH. So the repeating units will take this one is a repeating unit. The so same thing what I was written here, I wrote it here. Okay. So it's a very easy to write the structure. CC, OCC, OCC, O structure base uh, that is backbone and that uh, uh, carbon which is near to the oxygen after carbon of uh, the before carbon, before to the oxygen that we are CO groups. Okay, this way we can synthesize a polylactic acid. Like polylactic acid is synthesized by two main monomers, lactic acid and cyclic diesters called lactide. The direct condensation of lactic acid monomer less than 200 degree Celsius can produce polylactic acid. Another most common method is a polylactic acid by ring opening polymerization of lactide with various metal catalysts. Okay. This is the set, so, uh, corn or sugar cane on fermentation will get a lactic acid or uh, dimerization lactide is cyclic diester like the lactide is a form which on ring opening reaction polymerization will get a polylactic acid or polycondensation reaction at about 200 to 250 degrees Celsius uh, will get polylactic acid. Now, the properties of this polylactic acid, as you know, it is a biodegradable polymer. The main thing is the polylactic acid is a biodegradable polymer. Then, glass transition temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. That is one form to another form. The uh, soft uh, state to rubbery states movement is at R and uh, uh, that movement is take place at 60 degrees Celsius and the melting point is 130 to 180 degrees Celsius. It is soluble in chlorinated solvent, hot benzene, tetrafluorohydrofuron, dioxin, etc. Then polylactic acid possesses a high surface energy and it is soluble in uh, a range of organic solvent. These are the some properties we observed under polylactic acid. The application parts, this polylactic acid is widely used as a plastic filament materials in 3D printing. So, in 3D printing or the molding process, you may observe this type of plastic material. You can all see here the plastic, various colored of plastic wires are, we'll get from that we can able to find, make a 3D printing. This is the main application largely widely observed uh, things. So, it is a biodegradable uh, polymer used as a plastic filament material in 3D printing. Variety of consumer products such as the disposable table where kitchen appliances are used or for, the, for that preparation, this polymer is used. Polylactic acid is used for automotive parts such as floor mats, panels and covers. 
It is used for monofilament fishing lines and netting for vegetation and weed prevention. So, in order to prevent weed, so we may introduce some nettings. So, for that, we normally use a polylactic acid because it is degrade easily. It is used for sandbags, planting pots, binding tapes, and ropes. Used in the medical implants in the form of anchor, screw, plus because it is degrade. Wooden used even in a one shirts, hot fill applications, and even in some plastics. Uh, this uh, polylactic acids are used. So these are the main applications we observe under polylactic acid. Thank you.